Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Today's my lecture is about why positive feedback mechanism is called vicious cycle. At first, essentially all control system of our body operates by negative feedback mechanism rather than positive feedback mechanism. Nature of positive feedback is that it strengthens or reinforces a change. That means it makes abnormal values more abnormal and leads to instability rather than stability. In some cases, it can cause death. That's why positive feedback mechanism is called vicious cycle. This figure taken from the book which is written by Guyton. By this figure, we want to explain you positive feedback mechanism why called vicious cycle. At first, recovery of heart pumping caused by negative feedback after 1 liter of blood is removed from the circulation. But death is caused by positive feedback when 2 liters of blood are removed. The previous figure shows the heart of a healthy human being pumps about 5 liters of blood per minute. If the person is suddenly bleed 2 liters of blood, amount of blood in the body is decreased to such a low level that not enough blood is available for heart to pump effectively. As a result, arterial pressure falls and flow of blood to heart muscle through coronary vessel diminished. This scenario results in weakening of heart, further diminished pumping activity and further decrease the coronary blood flow and still more weakness of heart. This cycle repeats itself again and again until deaths occur. Positive feedback is better known as vicious cycle but a mild degree of positive feedback can be overcome by negative feedback control mechanism of body and the vicious cycle then fails to develop. For instance, if the person is bleed only 1 liter instead of 2 liters, normal negative feedback mechanism for controlling cardiac output and arterial pressure can counterbalance by positive feedback mechanism and the person can recover as shown by dashes curve by this figure. Thank you for your patience sharing.